right, so go ahead and um, it's just recording my screen, so no worries. Um, go ahead and type your set your set name in the chat box before we get started. Core and stretch with Ellen, all body weight today. So we're gonna start with just a quick warm up, standing actually. So feet right underneath those hips, and I want you to do some arm circles here. So it's nice and easy because we're gonna be doing a couple of core exercises on the floor. So I just wanna make sure that we warm up our upper body a little bit. And take this class at your own pace. This will be 30 minutes. We want to do something a little bit non-traditional. We're going to pair a stretch with a core exercise just to make it a little more dynamic. And we can all use more stretching and mobility exercises, right? So now let's do both at the same time. And I want you to add a little bit of a squat with this, reaching down, nice big inhale, and exhale. So just in case you've been sitting all morning, or maybe you're off for the week, and maybe you've just been sitting around, hanging out, relaxing, and now it's time to get moving. Let's do one more, big deep breath in, and exhale down. All right, let's take it to the edge of our mat. So now we're gonna do some inchworm walkouts. So you're gonna hinge forward at the waist, reach those hands to the floor, you're going to walk out to a plank position, you're going to walk back up. We're going to do that for 45 seconds. You can go ahead and start. Do this on your own speed. This is time-based, so it doesn't matter how many reps you get in. For those with sensitive shoulders or wrists, feel free to simply hold your plank and take out the walkout. So you can simply hold your plank, maybe knees supported, maybe your hands are on a bench, or a table that will also make this less intense for shoulders and wrists. If you're okay with the walkout, continue to do this for 15 more seconds. Nice and slow. Also, a great way to warm up the back of our legs. Three, two, and one. Okay, next warm exercise. We're gonna come down onto our back. Let me just tilt this a little bit. We'll do two that I know Josh does in his classes. So the first one is a bridge. It's because it helps to engage those lower abs and more of our glutes and hamstrings. So let's go ahead and start 45 seconds. You're just gonna peel your spine off the mat. Inhale, you're gonna lower down and exhale, lift up. Your feet are about hip distance. You want your knees placed right on top of your feet. Just relax your upper body here. Lower body and core doing all the work. So nice, slow control. That's gonna be for all of our workout today. Slow and controlled when we do core and strength. All right, we've got a couple more seconds and then we're gonna switch it to a dead bug. In three, two, and one, dead bug. Just like it says, <laughs> right? Legs are up, knees are bent, about 90 degrees. Arms overhead, you're gonna keep your head down for this one. You're gonna lower opposite arm and leg. As you inhale and exhale, come back up. Go ahead and start. And make sure you switch, alternate. So you're gonna do both sides. Opposite arm and leg, inhale, lower. Exhale, come back up and switch. Now the key here is to keep that back glued into the mat. So we don't want our back arching here. We should feel those, especially the lower abs, start to engage. Inhale and exhale. You can keep those knees bent. It's gonna give you a little extra support if you'd like. A little bit more challenging if you straighten your leg as you lower it. So whatever feels best for you today, does not have to look like exactly how I'm doing it. Listen to your body. Three, two, and one. Come on up, let's do those three one more time through. So back to inch from walkouts. We're just holding a plank in three, two, let's go. So just finishing up our warm up with one more round of these three exercises. So again, for sensitive shoulders or wrists or even neck, perhaps you're just holding your plank here in that static pose or even using 
a bench or a table to hold it. Keep going. So I'm just gonna sort of demonstrate here. I'm up on a bench and that takes tension out of my neck and shoulders and feels much better. 15 seconds. Do, do. You have time for maybe one more inch for walkout before we come back up to the floor on our backs. All right, let's go back into those bridges. Come on down. If you're just joining us, we're warming up for core and stretch. Get ready for bridges in three, two, one. Relax your head, right? So just lifting the hips up and down. I want a nice slow movement. Inhale lower and exhale lift. Feet are right underneath those knees and your feet are about the distance of your hips. Inhale and exhale. So especially if you have been sitting all morning, great way to warm up our glutes and hamstrings. We've been sitting on them for a couple hours. Lift and lower. With your bridges, you always want to keep your upper back on the floor. If you feel it coming up a little bit, you're probably lifting a little too high. A little tip there. A couple more seconds. Three, two, and now our dead bug. So set up, knees right on top of those hips. Arms up, you can still keep your head down here. And let's go, inhale. Opposite arm and leg lower at the same time. Exhale back to the top and switch. And sort of imagine you're holding like a stability ball right here between your knees and your hands. Gotta hold on to it, make sure it doesn't go anywhere while you lower your opposite arm and leg. Keep going, I'm just gonna check everyone out, make sure we're looking good. We're about halfway there. Once you tuck your hips under and push that low back into the floor. If you feel your back arching, maybe you've gone a little too low. Good, let's make sure we're breathing too. We haven't talked about that yet. <laughs> Inhale and exhale. Great job everyone, three, two, and one. All right, let's come to a seated position. Great job. So hopefully you're feeling a little bit warmer. Seated position here. So this is gonna be a little bit different. I'm doing the core and stretch part together. I'm just fixing my hair, don't do this. Um, so we're gonna do 30 seconds of a dynamic stretch. And that's gonna help us move into the core exercise to make it more effective, okay? And then we do that core exercise for a minute and we'll do that twice every two minutes. So here's your first dynamic stretch. Let's go ahead and get started. It's just a seated side bend. And you're gonna alternate. So you can go ahead and start with me and do this. It's dynamic, meaning that we're adding movement to it and not a static stretch. So our core exercise is obviously gonna be those obliques. We're gonna work the obliques. That's why we're doing this stretch. We're sort of warming them up so we can get the fullest range of motion. One more on each side, and then it's gonna get tricky. Last one. All right, now we're gonna hop onto our kneeling position. So if you have sensitive knees, you can add another mat or a pillow. If you have blocks, you can use them here too. I like to use them. So we're gonna come down on our right side. Watch my screen first. Hand behind the ear, okay? So you're gonna lift up, and do sort of a side bend, come back down, lift up. That's why we are warming up those obliques. So we're gonna start with that left leg out, left hand behind the ear, we do 30 seconds, and then we're gonna add elbow to knee crunch. All right, let's go ahead and start left side. So the side crunch up. So your hand can come to the floor. I'm just using a block. Makes it a little bit easier. You can't quite reach the floor. So it's inhale and exhale. You wanna keep your hips forward too. They might wanna drop. Try not to let them. Woo, so you're bringing that rib cage to your hips. Hopefully you're already feeling it. We got a couple more seconds of the side crunch, and then we're gonna switch the movement. All right, so here's the move, we're gonna switch, you're gonna stay here, elbow to knee. Inhale and exhale, just go right into it. Elbow to knee, so that right hand is just planted on the floor. 
Little crunch, elbow to knee. Ooh, yes, awesome. You guys see Mike there, looking good. Good, Teresa. Breathing, inhale and exhale. Do not let those hips drop back. Only a few more seconds. And then we switch. Inhale, exhale, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's do the other side. Same thing. So that right hand or the other side, whatever that is for you. Ready, set, leg out. Let's go. So this is the sort of sit up, right? Or side crunch. So you just have to use your obliques to pull yourself up. It's tricky, right? Yeah, a little bit of balance. That always works. Those smaller core muscles that we sometimes don't feel or forget about. But then after the workout, we feel them, right? So in 30 seconds, the switches to elbow to knee. Unless you want to stay with this movement, you can do that. Three, two. Okay, now we add elbow to knee. Here we go. Elbow to knee. Elbow to knee. You might find one side a little tighter than the other. That's okay. That's normal. If you want it harder, keep this leg lifted off the floor the whole time. I can't quite do that on this side, but wanted to give you all that option. Keep your chin lifted. Keep your hips forward. Looking good. Draw that navel in towards your spine. Woo! Couple more seconds. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna go into our next service. We're just gonna keep it moving, fast pace. So here's your dynamic stretch. Knees wide, it's gonna be a child's pose, but a little rock with it. Rock forward and back to warm up our wrists. 30 seconds, ready, set, let's go. So inhale, rock forward, exhale into child's pose. Remember, dynamic stretch for 30 seconds. You're just going forward and back. Because our core is gonna be sort of a down dog movement. So we're warming up our wrists for that movement. And stretching our back, our low back. Inhale and exhale, keep going. Couple more seconds and then comes the core. Inhale and exhale for three, two, and one. Okay, so here's the actual core movement. You're up in the down dog, you can watch this. Down dog, and then I'm going to lower into a bear, which is dropping the knees not quite to the floor, but almost. So we call this bear pose. Lift back up to down dog. Lower the knees almost to bear, and then come back up. So a nice flat back. All right, we go for a full minute. Ready, set, let's go. So take your time. Down dog, exhale to bear. Hold that for just a breath or two, and then come back up to down dog. Inhale, exhale. Now a little less intense, you can actually tap your knees on the floor, and then come back up, right? You can also do this on your forearms. That feels better for your shoulders. Keep going, I'm just gonna show the different alternatives. 30 seconds in. Down dog to bear. It's sort of like dead bug, just in reverse, right? That's our bear. So I should be able to come over, sit on your back, and you should be able to hold me up, right? That's how strong your bear pose should be. So tuck those hips under, engage those low abs. We'll get a quick breather, then do it again. Knees right under your hips, and hands right under your shoulders. Three, two, and one. Get a quick breather. We're gonna do it again. This time it's gonna be a plank hold on our elbows or forearms, okay? For one full minute, your first 30 seconds, we're gonna add movement with some knee taps, okay? So one minute plank hold in three, two, let's start with knee taps first. So do your plank, tap right, tap left. Alternate at your own speed. If you're holding a supported plank, you can tap your shoulders instead with your hands. Or simply hold your plank. Keep holding it. You're gonna hold it for a minute. You're alternating those knee taps. Right and left. Back is nice and flat. All right, now we just simply hold it for 
the last 30. Hold wherever you're at. Plank of your choice. Hold it. I want you to tuck those hips. Make sure your eyes are in front of your hands. So you're looking just straight ahead of your mat. Whether you're on your knees or toes, your back is nice and flat. Keep breathing, final four. Three, two, and one, relax. Woo, so that one was a little bit harder. Let's move on to our next circuit. You all are doing great. So we're gonna come back to seated position. Back to seated position. And we're gonna do some twists because our core movement is gonna be a Russian twist. So seated here or legs out, whatever's comfortable for you. 30 seconds, inhale and exhale. Go ahead and start with me. We're gonna to come to the center and then twist over. Your right shoulder and then your left shoulder. Inhale and exhale. So the core work is hard, but then we get this nice little stretch. And it helps to increase that range of motion and warm up our bodies for that next movement. Four, three, two, and one. All right, so it's gonna be a Russian twist in a boat pose. So I'm here on the lake, so boat pose it is. All right, so your boat pose, you lean back. You can start with those hands behind your knees, but if you're ready for the extra intensity, you actually lift your feet off the floor. Hands together, and then we do a Russian twist. Right, center, and left, center. Let's go ahead and get started in four, three, two, Let's go. So find that boat pose, arms are straight, hands together. You're gonna to twist to the right, just a little bit, back to center and then twist to the left. Now the key here is going really slow. So if you're feeling those hip flexors, just lower your feet to the floor like me. Twist and center. Shoulders down and away from your ears. I want this movement really slow. So not like a typical Russian twist. We're slowing it down. And I want your arms straight. Because that's gonna also make it harder for your core. So arms straight. Keep going, we're already more than halfway. If you want it harder, legs can be straight up, right? If you need a little less, feet down with me. Keep breathing. Draw that navel in towards your spine. We've got less than 10 to go. Keep your chest up. We'll get a very quick stretch and then we'll do it again. Different variation, three, two, and one. All right, so quick stretch, different variation. We're gonna hold that boat pose and then halfway there, add some toe taps just to engage those low abs a little bit more. Or you can stay with those feet on the floor. Here we go in three, two, draw that navel in and start. Find your boat pose. Hold it for the first 30 seconds. So you can do hands behind knees. This is a little bit easier, less intense. If you want it harder, arms out by your side. So you're not holding onto the legs. Even harder, maybe arms overhead, maybe legs straight. Continue to hold it. If you're feeling those hip flexors, feet on the floor and just follow what I'm doing. All right, here's 30 seconds to go, toe taps, right? Lift, left, lower right, back up, lower left. So I know this is a lot harder, just an option. Keep going, everyone, keep that chest up. If it's too much, you can just use the arms instead, lift and lower. Less than 10 seconds, wherever you're at. Keep breathing, we're gonna get a nice stretch for those hips after this in three, two, and one. Woo, come on up. All right, we're getting ready for that hip stretch. So we're gonna do some lunges. So you're on your knees for this one. If you wanna add that extra mat or you can fold the mat, you're more than welcome to. Let's start with that right leg forward. Right leg forward, we're holding this lunge. I use my blocks here. I want you to move your hips a little bit. You don't have to use the blocks, it just makes it easier. Okay, so we're gonna have a little bit of movement here. Inhale, reach up, and exhale down. We're gonna do that three more times. Inhale, lift, turn on those core muscles. Exhale, two more, and then the other side. Lift, lower, you can do one more. Inhale, 
and exhale. Let's switch. Left leg in front. Hip flexor stretch. Hold this here for a few seconds. Maybe move around a little bit. Stretch out those hips. Then we're going to add that balance and then our core. So inhale, arms up and exhale down. Three more times. Warming up. Inhale and exhale. Two more. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Reach up and down. Okay, so here's our core exercise. If you fold up your mat, you want to take it back out because we're going to do a three legged dog and come into that lunge. So watch my screen here. You're up here, you're going to start with that right leg first. You're going to take it up and then place that foot onto the floor. Drop to the knee, a little harder, you keep it up. So your choice, reach and twist. You're just going to stay on that same side for one full minute. And then we'll take a little breather and do the same thing on the other side. So nice and slow, we're going to do right leg first, okay? This way we do a down dog in our warm up. Ready, set, and let's go. So down dog, right leg lifts, inhale, exhale, bend the knee, place your foot down, and then you reach and twist with your right arm. And then you go back and repeat. Back up to down dog, take it down, and reach and twist. Perfect, so stay here. You're gonna stay on this side and again, move at your own pace. I drop my knee. That's a little too much. Or if you want a little harder, keep that back knee lifted. Keep going everyone, about 20 seconds. So if on the floor doesn't work for you at all, you can do a standing version with me right here. I'm just doing a standing elbow to knee crunch because that's doing a similar twisting motion. And you still get to practice some balance. Keep going, everyone, a couple more seconds. Three, two, and one. Take a quick breather. You're gonna do the same exact thing with your left leg. Same exact thing with your left leg. Starting in three, two, let's go. Left leg, inhale, lift it up. Exhale, bend that knee, place it in between your hands, and then reach and twist. And just repeat that. So I'm gonna do the standing version, standing alternative. You do a standing elbow to knee crunch. Similar move, just on your feet. Keep going everyone, we are halfway there, 30 seconds. So you can always adjust, perfect. Looking good. Yes, good, Mike. Yes, nice, Terry. Good, Teresa. I know this one's a little tricky. Keep going, everyone, a couple more seconds. We're doing the standing option. Keep that chest up. We have four, three, two, and one. Woo, great job. All right, everyone, on our chest and belly. All right, chest and belly. We're gonna do a baby cobra for our stretch here for 30 seconds. So your feet are about hip distance, hands are right under your elbows. Elbows in, inhale, you lift up, and exhale, lower. Okay, but nice and slow, listen to your body. Let's go ahead and start. Inhale, lift, and exhale. You don't have to come all the way up. Your body will tell you when it's a little too much. Inhale and exhale. We're getting that back prepared for our next exercise. Inhale and exhale. Take it nice and slow. Keep breathing, inhale and exhale. It's good for a healthy spine. Getting some movement in here, but no jerky motions, right? Three, two, and one. All right, so you can probably guess what the exercise is, a hyperextension or back extension. So your hands can be down by your side straight. You can have them to your side, elbows in, or arms extended. 
You're gonna lift everything off the mat on your inhale and then exhale, you're gonna lower. Okay, for one full minute. Halfway through, we're gonna add a little twist. I'll show you what that is if you want it harder. You're gonna lift, push up to a plank for mountain climbers. So we get a little bit of cardio. One more time, you lift, push up to plank, four, three, two, one. Okay? It's just an option, it's much more challenging. But I'll cue you through that. Back extensions, just the regular, in three, two, let's go. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. So you're trying to lift as high as you can off the mat, and again, very slow, very slow. Your gaze is now straight down on the mat and not ahead, straight down. So your nose, your eyes, your chin, you're looking straight down in front of you. Keep going at your own pace. All right, we're halfway if you want to add the option. So you push up to plank, four mountain climbers, and then you lower back down, repeat. Hyperextension, and then push up to plank, either on your knees or toes. 15 seconds, just an option, don't have to do it. Keep moving, everybody. Couple more seconds, and then we gotta do it one more time through. Elbows in, three, two, and one. Relax. Couple more seconds, we'll do it one more time, okay? So same thing, first 30 seconds, regular back extension, halfway through, push up for mountain climbers. In three, final minute of work, let's go. Just the back extensions, inhale and exhale. So I keep my elbows by my side, feels better on my neck. Or arms butt down by your side. Keep going, if arm, arms overhead feels good, Go ahead and do it like a superman, right, or superwoman. I want you to lift everything off the mat as high as you can. Keep your legs straight, right? Sometimes we bend at the knee. Try to keep them straight. You're halfway if you want to add your push-up. And you're four mountain climbers. Okay, Mike, I see you. Yeah, and go one, two, three, four. Nice job, everyone. Keep going. This is your workout. We are almost done. You have less than 10 seconds, everyone, whatever you're doing, whatever version you're doing. Three, two, and one. Woo, tuck the toes, gently press up and back very slowly. Knees wide, feet together. Let's find that child's pose and relax into it. Relax your head in between your hands and take a few breaths right here. So if you did those mountain climbers, heart rate might be up a little bit. So deep breath in through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. Walk the hands to the right diagonal. Hold that there for a breath. Inhale back to the center. Exhale to the left diagonal. Hold it for a breath. And then slowly back to the center. Let's find a tabletop. We haven't done a cat cow, so we'll do that here for another low back stretch. So as you inhale, you're gonna drop your belly to the floor, lift your chest and your tailbone, and then exhale, you round the spine, tuck your chin to your chest. And let's do it two more times, inhale. And exhale. One last time, really exaggerating that movement, inhale. And exhale. All right, let's go ahead and roll up to standing. We'll finish up there. So your head comes up last. Just roll up nice and slow. Roll the shoulders at the top. And then you're gonna go ahead and squeeze your shoulder blades together, maybe interlacing your hands behind you. Hold this here, keep that head nice and neutral. Shoulders down. You're gonna hold this for four, three, two, and relax. All right, if you did those push-ups, the push to the uh, mountain climbers, go ahead and just circle those wrists here. Shake the arms out, and then all together, we're gonna take a nice inhale, reach up, 
Good deep breath. Exhale, you're gonna bend the knees, shake it out, let it go, and one more time. Inhale and exhale. All right, everyone, thanks so much for coming to Core and Stretch. I know it's a little different than what you normally do. Hope you liked it.